Our L2 powder fire extinguisher is a funny looking thing. It's also known as a metal powder fire extinguisher. But when we say a metal powder fire extinguisher, we don't mean a powder fire extinguisher made of metal, because kind of obvious, eh? No, it is purely for metal fires or fires involving flammable metals. Now, some of you are thinking, metal doesn't burn. What? Yes, it does. Get yourself a Ferrari and you find it's probably got magnesium wheels. Can you remember from chemistry when you set fire to magnesium and it was not great? Can you remember what happened when you put lithium in water or potassium, all that kind of stuff? And did you know aluminium swarf means the, uh, the offshoots and the grindings from uh, an aluminium place, that is flammable. Oh, yes, it is. Surprising, eh? And laboratories, certain metalworks, etc. It's a risk. And generally, a lot of metal cannot be put out because it ge almost generates its own oxygen. Some like magnesium cannot be put out. Now, if you try to attack it with a normal powder fire extinguisher, another one, burning metal on the floor, fire it, full blast powder, poof, it goes everywhere. And then you've got fires everywhere. When I used to do my door-to-door -door selling in places, I came across a couple of factories who had had that happen and very, very uh, bad results. So we have the metal fire extinguisher with this funny looking thing. Now, so it's not in my way because so that I don't have to go like that on the video because that would look just plain silly, wouldn't it? I'm going to take this thing out. This is the difference. This chap is called a low velocity applicator. A lot of people would just refer to it as a lance. But the way this works, if I unfurl it, by the way, notice it's got, um, it's got this bit. Get off you. Uh, it's got this bit on the bottom, which enables it to sit without just dragging on the floor. But the way this works is powder comes out at the same rate as a standard fire extinguisher. However, you get to hold, you get to stand back from your fire. Can you see that? And hold this over the top of the burning metal, and this reduces all of the pressure from the fire extinguisher. Why is this box coming open, by the way? Is this a, here's one I prepared earlier. So, uh, this is going to annoy me. Uh, difficult doing all this stuff on video, you know. So, you hold this out, it pours out, pours out, and what you would do is you'd make a pile of powder around and above the thing. Uh, an alternative, when the fire brigade come, they may use sand, good old sand, because they're trying to keep it under control and to remove the oxygen. So the idea is no matter how small the fire, you use the whole lot. Now, L2, is a special metal powder fire extinguisher. These are for class D fires only. Class D being metal, do not use them on anything else. It would be a little expensive anyway. But L2 is from Chubb's factory. They used to supply an M28 as well. See, it's gonna get in the way, isn't it? They used to supply an M28 as well. However, the L2 was the extra one uh, that also covered lithium fires, but they've decided to just use the L2 from now on. Some companies will supply M28, but it will not put out every type of metal. Uh, in America, they have other ones called Purple K and so on. I think Amarex probably supply that in the UK, but it's not going to be very common. So this is the bee's knees. Now, these things are made in the UTC, uh, or most people refer to it as the Gloria factory in Europe which moved from Germany to Poland. But uh, it's where Chubb fire extinguishers are made and Thomas Glover. It's the Firepower range, which is the trade name of Thomas Glover, which is the sister company of Chubb. But this is exactly the same as the Chubb fire model and same powder, same extinguisher and everything. Now, I'm just going to show you what you get when you buy it. And I'm going to wonder, am I going to be attacked by that? You don't mind if I just drape it down there out of the way, do you? So, it may, you may notice that you get the low velocity applicator or the LVA in a separate bag. It's because it doesn't fit in a box. Never has, never will. So first of all, open the box. 
These are fantastic quality boxes, so please be careful because they have metal staples like that to hold them together. And I have to be fair, these are much, much better than the budget extinguisher boxes which come from China that we sell. You will get, as usual, your certificate of conformity beautifully produced. It will tell you everything you need to know about this fire extinguisher. You will get a bracket, a wall bracket for fixing it on, a, on the wall. Every UK uh, extinguisher above, uh, from sort of three kilograms and upwards, or three litres and upwards, other than CO2, has a standard sort of bracket on the back. This just takes a couple of screws, pop it on the wall, so the handle's about one metre from the ground, and then it just slots in and sits in the back. That will fit any UK fire extinguisher. Trying to get this out of the way. It comes in a plastic bag because you don't want the paint scraping off. And now, box out of the way. Yay! It has a CE mark. You might say to yourself, ooh, John, it doesn't seem to have British standard kite mark. Simple reason for that, they don't make enough to justify the expense. When British Standard Kite Mark not only costs a lot in testing, but every single one has to pay a license fee, it's just not worth the expense. And the demand isn't there to make the volumes to pay for it. So let's take this. Sorry for any noise. Just, it is well wrapped. Oh, those lovely Polish folks are good at wrapping. On the end, to protect the thread, another bit of bubble wrap. This is the bit where I potentially make an idiot of myself as I try and screw this thing in, because it's difficult to do while trying to keep it all in the camera. Um, it's going to screw into the thread hole here. I just point out that to, this little thing here is an anti-tamper seal. There are various types. This factory on this model is using this one. When that shows you that it has not been used, it cannot be reused. When you pull the pin, it will snap the little anti-tamper seal. You'll see it's been used. You'll know it needs a refill. Then you squeeze the levers. You have a gauge. As long as the pressure is in anywhere within the green, you're golden. Right, this is the bit where I turn this around. One thread, put this bit down here. Try not to bang the table and then carefully screw that in. Oh, look at that. Oh, we only work first time. You probably think, take 28. No, seriously, I haven't got time for messing about. First time. All right, so do that. One adjustable spanner. Let's just oop, nip that up nice and tight. Then Oh, this fellow will, tuck it over, has a natural bend in it. So see it's got a hook to go on. Slot that over the top. That hole goes in there. And hey, presto. One beautiful L2 powder fire extinguisher ready to go. Of course, you can stand them on a stand, on a plinth, on anything. Just make sure it's in the right place. Now, to find out what these cost, they do cost a little more than the standard powder extinguishers, but they are special. To find out what they cost, dimensions, the weights, anything else you want to know, or to even buy one or 20, just click on the link at the end of this video.